To some, he was a pioneer for the poor and a crusader for change. That's how the Catholic Church is remembering Rembrandt Weekland. The former Milwaukee Archbishop died overnight. But for so many, his death reignites controversy for his role in overseeing priests who sexually assaulted children. Sam Kramer is live in the newsroom tonight. And Sam, Weekland was never punished, right? Right. Hi there, Mary. He led the Milwaukee Archdiocese for 25 years, stepping down in 2002. Amid allegations, he paid a sexual assault victim nearly half a million dollars. Tonight, I spoke with one victim who's made it his life's work to hold the church accountable. He says even after Weekland's death, there's still plenty to be done. From behind the pulpit. They're not ready yet for that kind of thinking. He steered the Milwaukee Archdiocese through its modern transition from 1977 through 2002. Current Archbishop Jerome Listecki credited Weekland for his openness to new ideas, adding, may he now rest in peace. But to so many others. All of the energy is given to, given to the protection of Father Waida and the reputation of the archdiocese at the peril of the children. At the peril of the children, uh, yes, that's, that's true. Weakland's legacy is anything but sacred. The individual who is most responsible for the widespread sexual abuse of children and the cover up of those crimes. Peter Isley founded the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests. He's hopeful Weakland's death will reignite the pursuit of justice for all victims, including himself. He never apologized to us. He never looked us in the eyes and said, I'm sorry for what happened to you and your families. We did ask the Archdiocese for an interview today, but the church stood by its statement. They do tell us they're still working on funeral arrangements for Weekland, who is living in Greenfield. Live in the newsroom, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Sam.